Hey guys, it's Leia here, back again with another video. Love Art in the Game 2, Season 4, Episode 9. Made it to Episode 9, right? So, as you can remember, on Episode 8, we was playing Never Have I Ever, and then we left off getting a text message, finding out that there'll be a recoupling, girl's choice, and whichever boy does not get picked, is being dumped. Hmm. And we just left off meeting the new guys, Bruno and Yusef. So this is gonna be interesting. It's a girl's choice. I'm still coupled up with James. Um, I mean, my head's not fully turned. Um, so I don't know if I'll switch. I, I don't know. We'll see. Let's just hop right into it. Episode nine. Finally. All right. Episode nine, turning heads. Crack on and prepare for the recoupling, but have some of the Islanders heads been turned? Last time on Love Island, the Islanders spilled the tea in a very special game of Never Have I Ever. Worst part was she only signed it regards. Yusef got all philosophical on us. Boy meets girl, boy and girl drift apart. But a recoupling announcement shook it all up. Next up, the guys get hot and heavy. Me and Yusef had a little competition and Crystal and Ajuma get naughty. You be my partner in crime? Let's go. The Islanders are still doing what they do best, lounging in the pool, looking gorgeous. That's enough sitting around for me. I want some exercise. Oh yes, this I have to see. They stride off arguing about who gets to use the barbells first. So I thought we should have a chat. I was wondering, he rubs his chin. It's a bit real now, isn't it? With the recoupling coming up tonight? Okay, I'll just come out and say it. Do you think you'll pick me tonight? James wants to know if I'll pick him tonight. I still feel like I will, but I don't want to give him a definite just in case things change. So uh, I'm going to say I'm not sure yet. He nods. Sorry, it's a lot to put on you. The last thing I want is to pressure you. But I really like being coupled up with you. He pauses, looking away for a moment, squinting at the bright sky. Just wanted to make sure you knew. James scoots to the side of the pool and climbs out. I'll see you later, okay? He disappears into the villa. Well, that was something. I've got time for some chat before the recoupling tonight. I have to know what everyone's up to. All right. See who we got to chat with. We got Najuma. We got Ange and Bruno, and then we got Hakeem and Yusef. You see, I don't understand why they're not giving us Kobe to talk to. I feel like they're doing the same thing they did with um, Noah and Hope, and it kind of sucks, but whatever. Let's just go on with it. Um, the Juma starred, so usually that means before you can go ahead with the episode, you gotta speak to the starred character, which I'm going to anyway, cause it's not you. But I don't know if I wanna talk to her first. Um, I think I'm gonna go chat with Hakeem and Yusef first. You find Hazim doing pull-ups while Yusef watches. 25. Wait, wait, I was on 30 at least. Oh, were you? I didn't realize. Hazim lowers himself to the ground and wipes his forehead. Over on the lawn, you spot Najuma strolling towards the pool. Yusef and Hazim turn to look at her. Both of them have the same yearning gaze. So, how are you feeling about this recoupling thing tonight? How do I feel about the recoupling? I'm nervous. 
Even if it's girls in charge for this recoupling, I might not get with who I want if another girl picks before me. And someone will be dumped either way. Yeah. His gaze follows Najuma. Oh, Hazim, no need to pine. Najuma will make her choice for whoever makes her feel the most passion. That happens to be me, but that's no reflection upon you. Yusef thinks Najuma will pick him. Yusef sounds very confident in that. <laughs> Um, I'm going to say don't diss Hazim. Whether he ends up with Najuma or not, you don't need to say he doesn't make people feel passionate. That's fair enough. Hazim rubs his hand over his hair. Thanks, Crystal. I appreciate that. He grins at Yusef. Let's see some pull-ups from you then. Oh no, I hope you were distracted from that whole nonsense. He grips the bar and pulls himself up with some difficulty. One. I'll see what the others are up to. Well, that was a short conversation. <laughs> Never led nowhere. But knowing that there's two guys pining over Njuma. All right. Um, I think I'm going to save Njuma for last. So we're going to go to Ange and Bruno. As you come into the living room, Angie is laughing. That's just a dad joke. If you did that one at a gig, I'd be embarrassed for you. I'm keeping it and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, it's Crystal. Here to save me from the scary lady? He passed the sofa next to him and you sit down. Bruno was just telling literally the worst joke I've ever heard. Bruno shakes his head sadly. So underappreciated. Maybe Crystal appreciates you more than I do. They both look at you expectantly. I'd like it if Bruno Hmm. I'm gonna say showed off his flirty moves. Oh yeah, this is my moment. You've done it now, Crystal. Bruno pretends to yawn and stretches his arm across the back of the sofa. Fancy a takeaway on a riverboat later? Angie snorts behind her hand. After a while of teasing with Angie and Bruno, you make a move. <laughs> what is up with all these small ass conversations? Wow. All right, well, let's go to my girl, Najuma. Kind of glad I got those out the way first because they were so short. Najuma waves to you as you go up to the steps. Hey, you. Come and cozy up. It's gorgeous out here. You sit next to her and clink water bottles. I couldn't believe Yusef's face when it turned out we'd both been engaged. It was wild. I didn't think he was the type but I'm not gonna go off on one about you, sir. I've had an idea of how to spice up the recoupling. You wanna spice up the recoupling by... Hmm. There's some weird choices. I wasn't kind of expecting this. I thought they was gonna give a choice like recoupling with me. <laughs> but, um... Let's go with kissing everyone. That would be incredible, but no. You have to be my partner in crime. We're gonna steal the boys' clothes. Oh my. And put them in the freezer. She clasps her hands and gives you puppy eyes. Come and do it with me, Crystal. I can't pull it off by myself. Najuma wants to play a prank together. Well, I know this, doing this will get me closer to her, so. I mean, and it'd be kind of funny to see the guys' reactions when they find out they're closing in the freezer. <laughs> so, well, let's do it for 10 gems. Of course, let's do it. Amazing. Let's do this. Najuma and Crystal are on a critical mission, sneaking past the living room. They're about as stealthy as Najuma can get when she's hyped up. Don't quit your day job, hon. You're a lot better at making things explode than sneaking around. We need to sneak past Angie and Bruno. I feel like all the other ones are going to be 
noticeable and kind of corny. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna pretend to be doing something else. You talk loudly and deliberately. Oh, what were you saying, babes? You fancy to swim? Najuma copies you. Oh yeah, I just need to grab a towel from the dressing room because I'm not going in the bedroom at all. She grimaces and waits. What was that about, an owl? A towel, mate. As you stride past the doorway, Angie and Bruno don't seem to pay you any attention. We fooled them. Now you're in the bedroom and away from prying eyes, you rummage through the boys' wardrobes. I never knew they had so much stuff. Yeah, how come Hazim's got labels on all his socks? You bundle clothes into your arms and the Juma does the same. Perfect, now we just have to. She gasps, grabs you, and pulls you under the nearest bed. It's so dark down here. Shh. Footsteps come closer and closer. Then they pause. Crystal, is that your foot sticking out there? What's going on? I'm holding James's shirt right now. If I let him see what's happening, the prank will be ruined. I'll pretend to be... <laughs> um, they all seem weird, but I'm going to say thinking about the recoupling. You sigh thoughtfully, just having to think about tonight. Do you mind giving me a bit of space to think? Oh, oh, sorry. He tiptoes out. As soon as he's gone, Najuma lets out a shriek of laughter. Oh my days, that was immense. Quick, we need to get out of here before anyone else comes in. Our daring duo bundled the boys' clothes into the freezer and escaped the kitchen without anyone noticing. Except for me, but I'm, contra <laughs> but I'm contractually obliged not to say a word to those poor boys. You sit down casually as if nothing's happened. The guys will have no idea what we did. Najuma gives you a high five. That was such a laugh. Thanks for making it happen. Her gaze drifts to your mouth and you see her swallow. With you sitting there looking so amazing, I can't even think straight. The Juma thinks I look amazing. You look amazing too. Oh, Crystal, you're so cute. She takes your hands and laces her fingers through yours. I was wondering. She breaks off and laughs. I can't do the subtle thing. You probably know what I'm thinking. If I go before you in the recoupling, do you want me to choose you? Can we do that? Of course, it's girl's choice tonight. And in case you hadn't noticed, I'm a girl. What do you think? Najuma wants to know if I want her to choose me tonight. Hmm. That would mean I wouldn't be coupled up with James, but then there could be the possibility of me choosing first, but then if I end up not choosing her, it might not be such a good thing. Hmm. I think I'm gonna give her a try. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna give this a chance, you know, while I have the opportunity. I mean, why not see what happens? Totally, and I'll choose you. Her eyes light up with her huge smile. You've totally made my day, Crystal. This is even better than when I got my new sledgehammer. She stretches and stands up. I'm way too hot after all that sneaking around. I'm gonna have a swim so I can cool off before the recoupling. See you later, babes. And like that, we are done chatting. Continue. Angie waves to you from her reclining spot on the daybed. Hey, Crystal, come and join us. You lounge on the daybed, soaking up the late afternoon sunshine. I was saying how Bruno reminds me of a yappy little cockapoo. How anyone could name a dog that, I have no clue. Fabby giggles, then leans back, her face turned to the sky. I'm just glad it's girl's choice tonight. This way, you'll definitely not be single. Hmm, true. All right, ladies. 
Azim is holding a towel and wipes his face and chest with it as he strolls over. Can one of you come and give me a hand tidying up? Tidying up doesn't sound much fun, but I can have a private chat with one of the girls. Who should stay here and chat with me? Hmm. I kind of want to chat to Ange more. I want to get to know her more. Angie, stick around here. Babby gets up. This is good. I needed a stretch. She and Hazim head for the kitchen while Angie leans back on the daybed and closes her eyes. I love just having time to relax. Even when I'm chilling out at home, I'm still thinking about what's needed next. This is more like all I need to do is soak up the atmosphere. She opens her eyes and smiles at you. So, who are you picking tonight? That's what I want to know. Who do I want to choose tonight? <laughs> they pulled up a whole list. Um, see, they want to put Kobe on the list, but didn't even give us a chance to even talk to Kobe whatsoever at all. So that doesn't even make sense. But I already told Najuma, but then again, I kind of agreed to yes if she was picking first. Does that make me sound bad? <laughs> I'ma just say I'm not saying. Angie shrugs. Suit yourself. Angie picks at the edge of the daybed mattress. I can't decide. I'm not too worried about being single. I know I'm not gonna be by the end of the tonight. But I haven't got major sparks with any of the guys yet. Are you still interested in James? She gives you a long look, then shrugs. Not if he's more into someone else. I might go for Bruno if he's available, just for a laugh. Angie's thinking about picking Bruno tonight. But she said just for a laugh, though. Really? I don't get the feeling that you'd be right together. Angie grins at you. He's got a bit of energy about him. I don't know if he's the type I'd take home to meet my sisters, though. I'd never be able to keep them all in line. Angie's about to say something else when a shadow falls over the daybeds. I got a text. Islanders, please get ready for tonight's recoupling. Hashtag you snooze you lose. Hashtag dress to impress. It's recoupling time. Yay. <laughs> I'm actually nervous because I really don't know what to do. Damn, that's it? After Najuma and Chris do shenanigans, I want to tell you a dirty laundry joke. But no matter what I try, it comes out clean. I'll let myself out. Next up on Love Island, the girls and guys get glammed up. Who's pinched my nail varnish? Then the recoupling shocks the Islanders. So the boy I'm choosing is, and one boy will leave the villa forever. Find out next time. All right, so that was episode nine. So it's recoupling time and I still don't know. I gave the okay to Najuma, coupled with James. So, I mean, I guess it depends on the order. Um, I don't know, <laughs> I'm torn, but um, yeah, that was episode nine. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Journey to a thousand subscribers. For my birthday, September 18 this year, a thousand subscribers. Let's do this. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. Let me know who you chose. Comment down in the description. Let's talk about it. You can follow me on Instagram. All of that will be down in the description. My playlist. You can check that out. Um, yeah. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.